Well, it's very rare that you get the chance to design something and then design it again. So I was fortunate enough to work on the original Beeline design at MAP and then now here at Pentagram, um, getting the opportunity to work on um, the second version of it. When we started with designing Beeline Velo 2, we started from a completely blank sheet. All we knew was we wanted to make it, there were some things we wanted to make it do better, so we wanted to make it more solidly fixed on the bike, a bit more robust. Um, and it's been amazing seeing how loads of different people have used the product. So when we came to work with Pentagram, one of the first things that we kind of talked through was how we can make the product more accessible, both in terms of the price point and in terms of making it even easier to use, simple to just pick up and know where you need to go. I think this, the, the spirit of the original product that I sort of fell in love with was, was just super simple navigation. It doesn't take up much of your uh, attention span or distract you while you're riding. When Beeline came to us, they were really so open for us to kind of dissect and question everything about the design and take it apart. So we went really crazy and moved far, far away from the circle. So yeah, we started with square ones, ones with like D-shaped pads on the buttons. In the end, a circle just felt like the right form to use. It's so iconic, feels really familiar, um, and lends itself so well to navigating on a bicycle. And initially, because we wanted to make the buttons really important, we sort of foregrounded the buttons as a design element. We did so many models um, that had different locations for the buttons and just constantly trying and testing. But then as part of that journey, you know, we ended up making the whole thing a button so now the screen can be much bigger on the top surface. Now the screen is 60% bigger so that means these tiny little bezels around the outside rather than this big fat bezel we used to have on the last one. One of the biggest challenges with developing Beeline Velo 2 is how we take our iconic interface and uh, develop it to be even easier and more intuitive to use. And we went on quite a journey with, with thinking about how to portray the information on the device, you know, looking at all sorts of different screen technologies, all sorts of different arrows, different ways of presenting the information, going from the simple arrow to turn by turn to maps. Um, and then I think what we've arrived at is actually almost the perfect blend of um, all those different experiences in a really easy to use and easy to read interface. When we started Beeline six years ago, this whole idea of pointing in a straight line was all on the basis that humans can make better decisions than Google Maps or somebody else, its routing algorithms can. We kind of come full circle on that. We know people need to be guided around the best routes, um, but we've now built our own routing engine that takes that feedback into account from the community, letting people rate roads as they ride. And so we're actually understanding what people think of roads. Um, and you'll be able to put, do that with the device. We put that front and center on the device because that's a really core part of what we're building here. So you see the plus and minus buttons on there. That's for people to be able to rate roads as they ride and input into that. So you're kind of benefiting from and feeding into this whole system to make cycling better for everybody. I'm actually fascinated by the, by the sort of beeline proposition because it's, you know, the, the part that you interact with is a, is a physical product, but actually the, the whole back-end system, and particularly with this new product, the routing system, and the algorithms that sit underneath it, are actually the real innovation. You know, so the, the product that, that I was lucky to be involved in is just the front end to that. So what we found is that Beeline Velo 2 will really suit folks who use a bike for utility purposes, so getting around, seeing their mates, going to the shop, also using their bike to get to work, as well as people who are using it to go out for a ride on the weekends or a ride with mates during the week. But the beauty of it, of it working for those, for those people is that for people who are just getting started with one of them, it's also going to be really useful. We'll provide a really, really nice route for you that feels quiet and, and kind of like suits your needs if you're just getting into it. Uh, we just want to make sure that it's incredibly easy to use and also lives up to um, the high standards that we, we've set for ourselves over the last few years. So we've come back to Kickstarter for the Beeline Velo 2 rather than just making it in, you know, behind closed doors and launch it to the public um, because we've just find it so valuable to put this thing that's not quite finished in front of everybody, get their buy-in and then their feedback and like it's, it just creates this iterative process where we've got thousands of people chipping in and helping to shape this to be the best product it can be. Um, you know, imagine that versus the alternative which is a small group of us sit there making what we think is the best product, ship it to people and then we find out that we did something wrong. Um, much better that we get all that input right now. Um, we love that about the Kickstarter community. Perfect. Nice one.